How you doing? This is Ivan with Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back with another quote of the day to have a great day. Today, our quote is by Anne Frank. The quote is, The nicest part is being able to write down all my thoughts and feelings. Otherwise, I might suffocate. So today, our topic is on starting your own personal journal or idea book if you don't have one, because journaling can be a great way of freely putting our thoughts feelings and ideas down on paper so that we can then look and explore them at a deeper level and as Anne Frank highlights in the quote journaling can be a way of relieving inner pressure so this can also be a cathartic exercise for us and by journaling consistently we will also start to tap into our inner creativity which can then be a source of potential problem solving for our day-to-day -day lives and through journaling, we will also increase our own self-awareness because as we reflect on our day, we will notice and get to know our thoughts and feelings on a very intimate level. And our journal can then also serve as a starting point to other ideas, to other potential projects. It's always very interesting when you revisit some of your old journals after several years have passed and you can clearly see how your thinking has changed how you've grown as a person. So to get you started with your journaling habit, I just wanna share a few ideas, a few tips for you to keep in mind. The first tip is to use a physical notebook. The physical act of putting pen to paper can be very therapeutic, especially in our digital age. Here's my notebook. I usually get one every year and try to fill it up. The next tip, start with a goal. If you are new to journaling, maybe five to 10 minutes every day is a good start and as you develop your habit you will see that it will get easier to let your thoughts flow freely onto the paper so the next tip let it flow don't overthink it there is no right or wrong way to do this so no rules don't worry about the grammar or spelling and the next tip choose a topic if you can't think of anything just pick a theme like career or your family uh, your goals your dreams, anything interesting you encountered in your day, or any ideas you want to elaborate that you have been contemplating lately. For me, my journal is mostly an idea book where I jot down ideas that arise from my observations, my contemplations. The next tip, keep it private. These are your own intimate thoughts and ideas. If you decide to type them, then you can just password protect your document. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's topic. If you did, please help me out and hit the subscribe button and notification bell. And please don't keep me a secret. Share with anyone who may find my content to be valuable. And until next time, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well. Many blessings. Take care. Peace.